Hey, welcome back. I want to show you how we can make shape dividers a little bit more exciting or a little bit more engaging or entwined with the top section and the bottom section. And I'm probably making no sense whatsoever. Let me show you a problem and how we're going to solve it in a super duper easy way. Right. We currently have two sections over here. This is standard stuff. Both of the sections have images in the background. So if I just click on uh, this section over here, I'm going to go through this step by step. You know all this, okay? We have a stack section. You go to style and it's got a background image. Center, center, fixed, no repeat cover, okay? And below we have another section. And look, it's the same kind of pattern. Let me just do a full screen here just to show you what we're going to do. This is what happens when you have a standard parallax shape divider. Yeah, it looks great, it looks nice, but it's not doing anything fantastically different. Down below, we have the copy of the top two sections, but now we have a shape divider. But the problem is that when we add a shape divider in, and for anyone who is still not sure about using shape dividers, all it is is you go to your section, you go to style, you go down to shape divider, and at all this section at the top, we've used a triangle. We could have gone with zigzag, we could have gone with mountains, we could have gone with loads of things. We've gone with triangle and we've inverted it. And I've given it a purple color, because if you don't give it a color, it would have just been white. And the problem with this is, look, can you see here, unless this section at the top was purple, okay, if that was purple, it would look entwined. It would look like you've got a section blending into or merging into another section. Pretty simple, easy stuff with Elemental. You all know how to do this. But what if you don't want to use a solid color? What if you want the image to cut into the next image? And this is where some people go, ah, that's a little bit more tricky and you can't really do that without some full on hardcore coding. Believe it or not, you can. Now look what happens when I scroll down to a copy again. We have that same section with the person waving their hands in the air and watch what happens below. Whoa, hold on. We just got a triangular section and we're not getting any solid colors and it's now blending in. How did we do that? So, so simple. You are, you are just going to go, what? Is that all it was? Let me show you what we can do. Okay. Over here, we're going to go to the bottom section. This is it over here. And this section, which has the triangular effect, currently has a minus 330 margin. If I put it to zero, it's going to go like that. Don't worry about that white space, okay, at the moment that you've got here. There is a reason why that white space exists. If I go to advanced, I've called this section clip one. You can call it whatever you want. I just called it section clip one. If I go to custom CSS, I have this super duper simple code. Section clip one, clip path polygon, and then it's got some values. Now you might be thinking, well, how did you work out what the values were and where did you get them from? I didn't work them out. I got them from a website. Let me show you that website. Here it is, CSS Clip Path Maker. What is so cool about this is it gives you the different shapes. So I'm gonna go with, say, let's go with a left point shape like this. I'm just gonna modify this now to look like a certain one. You can be really methodical because you can see the values at the bottom down here. So if I wanted to get it absolutely spot on, I could do. And I'm just going to go here and I'm going to just get this value to be uh, about there, 35%, 35%, 35%. There we go. So now I have a bit of a triangular pattern going on there with a top, yeah? I just copy this code. Just literally copy the code. Go back over to my website. I'm not going to change the section clip bit with the curly bracket, close curly bracket, because that's the name of my section. And I'm just going to change the code. And look, I now get that pattern. But the problem is, is we still get the whiteness there. But don't worry about that. That is where you use your advanced and you use a negative margin like so. So I'm just going to go like that. I mean, that's a ridiculous value I just did. Let's go with 300. That's too much. OK, and it will depend on your pattern. But all you do is just scale it until you're now at the point where you've now got no more white. There we go. There's the white. Let me just put it back up there like that. And again, you can adjust it for the mobile, you know, at media, use some HTML code if you want to change it for the mobile. But what we now have is this effect. Look, what we had there with the triangular, we had a block color. And if we had increased, I mean, let me show you what would have happened here in case you don't believe me. Let's go to this section here where we've got the triangle. Let's go to the margin and let's just put it as a negative margin. Look, 
you're still taking the block up. Nothing is hiding. But now with the new one, where we added in the CSS code, look, we now have a blended effect going on in there. And this was literally simply with this website. Pick your pattern. You might have picked something like uh, a hexagon. I'm only going to mess around and pick whatever shape you want to go with. You add it in. And now to your section, to your column, to whatever you've got, even your image, you can add this to anything. You add that code to the advanced or the custom CSS and you will now have a bespoke shape and a totally bespoke shape divider. That kind of makes things just feel a little bit more exciting. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squad and I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. And I hope this makes shape dividers just a little bit more fun. Take care.